You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days fans. We have got to talk about bad things coming the way of Alex Kiriakis. This guy is leading a charmed life right now. He's hot. He's rich. He's the heir of Victor Kiriakis and has a beautiful woman in his life. Plus, he's the CEO of the family business. He has got nowhere but down to go from here. And things are going to come crashing down soon. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt. And we're going to chat about the epic heartbreak coming soon to ruin Alex Kiriakis' life. Let's dig in. But if you haven't, please click subscribe so you don't miss any updates for the NBC soap opera. So Alex's life has changed a lot since he came to Salem back in summer of 2022. Before that, he hadn't been seen since 1991 when he was just a little guy. They brought Alex back to the character canvas to give Robert Scott Wilson something to do other than play Ben Weston. That's because Victoria Conifal left as Sierra Brady, and so they wrote out Ben when they wrote out Sierra. But they wanted to keep Rob around, so lo and behold, here comes Alex back from the annals of history, the son of Justin Kiriakis and Angelica Devereaux. And no, he is not really the son of Victor Kiriakis. And speaking of that, Why was a DNA test never done? It's hard to imagine that somebody in the Kiriakis family wouldn't demand one before they hand him the reins and the checkbook and all that stuff, you know, but they didn't. And just before that twist with Alex's reveal as Victor's son, he started betting Teresa Donovan. Now Alex is falling hard for her and he's gotten used to life as Victor's secret son. But I also was glad to hear Alex the other day say some things that I've said here about him many times. He admitted that he's been treating Justin like crap. I've been saying that for weeks. Justin is his father. Even if the Victor stuff were true, Justin is the one who raised him, who loved him. That's his father. Biology doesn't determine who's your father and mother. It does determine who's your biological parent, but not necessarily who deserves the title of father and mother in your life. And yet Alex just abruptly quit calling Justin dad. He's been insisting on calling him Justin instead, which seems cruel. So I was happy to hear Alex address some of that. And he's back in therapy this week. He's got an emergency counseling appointment with Dr. Marlena Evans. And of course, Alex was distraught when Teresa started packing to leave him. And of course, she felt bad about falling off the sobriety wagon, about getting high, about kissing Brady. But really, she feels terrible because she's the reason that Alex has been so horrible to Justin. You know, Alex just told her that he's been unkind to Justin and she comforted him. But she also knows none of this would be happening to Alex if not for her lying, scheming plot. We saw in this past week's promo that Marlena tells Alex he's falling in love with Teresa. And when Doc says it out loud, it dawns on Alex, it is true. He's head over heels. And you may recall in the past, he was pretty much a himbo, you know, a male bimbo. And he was betting any woman he could in Salem. He had a fling with Sloan. He did a double dirty deed with Allie and Chanel. And then he decided that he needed to be with Stephanie Johnson. He was kind of being obsessive and weird about her. And then he managed to mess that up by turning her phone off the night Kayla died. And of course, turned out she wasn't dead, but still he did it. So once Marlena helps Alex realize this is the real deal, he's finally falling in love and he just kind of freaks out and he knows he needs to tread carefully. He does not want to screw things up with Teresa Donovan. And it's fate that it seems that just after this insightful talk with Marlena, he bumps into Teresa when he's leaving his appointment. 
But there are some big obstacles in Teresa and Alex's relationship, and I do not, do not see a happily ever after in Alex Kidiakis's future. In fact, I see him getting his heart ripped out and probably soon. So as hard as that is, you know, in the end, I think it's going to be a good thing for him. First of all, he needs a little humility. And second of all, nothing good comes of being involved with Teresa Donovan. When you're as hot, rich, and successful as Alex, your ego can get out of control. So I think a little comeuppance might be healthy for him. Also, one of the most obvious obstacles in the way of Alex being with Teresa is Brady Black. Although Brady and Teresa both told Alex there's nothing going on between them, that just doesn't seem true. So next week, Wednesday, January 31st, Alex corners Brady and accuses him of wanting to reunite with Teresa. And then Thursday and Friday, we have more scenes with Brady and Teresa that make it seem like Alex's concerns are valid. But even if Bradley Brady is not a problem for Alex, there are many other issues ahead. I mean, Alex loves Teresa, and he's about to find out she ruined his life single-handedly. How do you handle it when you find out the woman you love trashed your relationship with your father because she's a vengeful gold digger who decided that hurting Xander Cook was worth ripping his family apart? I mean, there's nothing that Teresa can say to justify what she did to Alex and Justin. Nothing. Okay, so she hates Xander. Fine, but that doesn't excuse messing up Justin's life and ripping his son away from him. Just because someone you dislike gets good news or gets something good in their life, that doesn't excuse you behaving like a monster because you're mad about it. So... The bottom line also, Xander is his own worst enemy. She could have stayed out of it and just let Xander find a way to mess up his own life because he inevitably always does. So I do suspect Teresa is going to rip out Alex's heart in more ways than one. First, there's a good chance that she's not going to stay away from Brady. I actually suspect they might sleep together behind Alex's back during February sweeps. We'll see. Brady has got himself another taste of Tornado Teresa, and he might go back for more. You know, he is an addict, and she is like a drug to him, so maybe he falls off that wagon. And if that weren't enough to crush Alex, finding out the big lie about Victor's will should ice the cake. Alex is going to have to walk away from her and it's going to hurt him. I mean, probably it's going to be hard for him to cope with a loss like this because really up until now, Alex has led a pretty charmed life. But I am really looking forward to seeing Rob Scott Wilson playing a heartbroken Alex. The actor told Soap Digest he's interested in peeling back the layers of Alex and seeing what's inside. And we know Rob is a great actor. He did a really good job playing Ben Weston's angst and torment. And honestly, he's such a good actor that I don't look at Alex and see Ben, not at all. Even when Rob's not wearing those silly clear glasses that Alex likes to wear to look smarter, you know, I just, he does such a good job. I don't see them as the same character at all. So let me know what you guys think. Is Alex going to handle this coming heartbreak in a bad way? Because he's never been in love, so he's never been crushed like this before. Is there a way that he would or should forgive Teresa for what she's done to him and Justin and the whole family? Or should he just cut her out of his life and walk away no matter how much it hurts? Definitely drop your comments on what you are hoping to see from this storyline. Please click subscribe if you haven't already and definitely come back soon. This is Belinda from Soap Dart and I'm here talking days, seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 